Alright guys, well while I'm waiting for my uh, vehicle license plates to arrive out here at Wayne's, I'm going to show you a little more of the construction of my solar shower here. It's a vent and a fill cap right there on this side. And then a 90 degree elbow right there that comes around to the back. It's got the new elbow that comes down to the lowest point where the water will be drained. I'll get to the shower in a second, but then over here, another fill cap, another vent, another piece of one inch unistrut, the length of the pipe, which uh, keeps it level. And then another fill port up here, just in case. I probably got about, tw I would say 25 gallons of water usage. This is the sun shower enclosure. Very light material. There's two inflatable parts on the top and the bottom. This is $20 off Amazon. I got a six foot black hose and then I, let me step up a little farther here. I cut it and put a new attachment on it so that it's only three feet long with one of these little garden hose attachments so that I can actually control the water that's coming out. There we go. And yes, I've already tested it. It's pretty warm. I don't know how I'm gonna mount it permanently. As you can see, I've got a broom coming out and holding it for now, which works. So there you go. Technically, I have an outdoor shower now. And don't be surprised if I change this system up every single day and find out what works best. We'll see. Ever since I uh, started working outside and getting stuff cleaned out, I was also working in here getting all the junk that was on my bed put away. Hey Jax, how you doing? And put into cupboards so that now I've got my socks and underwear all up here. Over here is all of the shirts that I own. <laughs> now, a couple other stuff because I'm just, I just can never stop improving stuff. It's, it's addictive. But anyway, um, <laughs> I have a stereo deck right here now <laughs> and um, so I carved that in with my keyhole saw and then cut it out with the jigsaw wired it into the deep cycle battery down here so that I can use it whenever I want to instead of having the one up front which is only when the key is turned um, it does have a USB and the aux out so that I can uh, play my play my music and really my intention here was to be able to have this and then wire the aux out up and out over near the door so that when these doors are open and I'm hanging out with someone or the doors are just open, you know, we, anybody can plug in their phone real quick and play their music and do their thing. I got this at Walmart for 50 bucks. This uh, Pioneer, is it Pioneer? No, it's dual, it's a dual deck. And then I got two uh, six by nine speakers and I uh, put those, that put one in up there. That one's basically gonna push music out the door and then I got one right here under the bed. The other cool thing I can do is while I'm watching my TV shows and stuff over here, I can bring that aux cord over into the MacBook or the TV and have the, you know, the audio really loud here inside the RV. So I'm pretty proud of that install there. Also, I guess I didn't show it in the last one. Uh, there is my smoke detector installed right there. And below it on the floor level is the CO2 detector alarm. Both run on batteries and I guess I'm just going to say, you know, if you're in an RV or a van or anything mobile, you should go batteries. Batteries because what if something happens with like the main battery it goes dead or you're not plugged into power because you lose power at the RV park or something. At least your systems will always work because they run on separate batteries that you can recharge and they, they last six months so it's no biggie and the last thing is uh, well I have the external antenna to mount tomorrow so somewhere I want to put this in and uh, it comes with what, eight feet of cable so hook it into the stereo deck and run it back somewhere and mount it to the fiberglass somewhere also, you're going to see this hole right there. And then up in the front area, uh, it's too dark, but there's another hole right there. And, um, and I'm just going to wait till tomorrow to show you that because Wayne and I actually worked on that today for several hours and we're not done. So I need free TV. 
and it's that important to me to get over the air free TV. Here's where I mounted the old TV right into the, the main stud that went down right there. It's very secure. I'll wind up some of these cords and make them look pretty, come up here and stuff, and have my DC plug going in there all the time. But, yeah, just kind of relaxing and having a great time out here with Wayne. I'm just really tired. I guess when you're having a good time, you just don't don't film a lot. You don't take pictures and stuff like that. But believe me, I've been I've been hard at it. I so. All right, I'll uh, get with you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, Jax here, along with his human servant Eric. Thanks for watching our RV channel. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up below. Uh, don't forget to watch all of our other videos. We got some great material out there. Subscribe to our channel so you can get the latest updates here on the road. Can you say hi? Talk to you guys later.